starts now. We begin tonight with a warning from Richmond City leaders urging people to pay more attention near railroad tracks and reminding them that tragedies on tracks are preventable. This comes after an incident last month in Gilpin Court when a seven year old boy's leg was severed while he was playing near a crossing. That boy thankfully survived and in recognition of National Rail Safety Week, police are raising awareness to make sure more children are not seriously injured. New at 11, AJ Nooko joining us live with details on this effort. AJ, fill us in. Yeah, every year more than 2100 people are killed or injured during railroad incidents. Gilpin uh, law enforcement here locally are trying to change that and they're starting with Gilpin Court. Trains can stop, but they can't stop quickly. It's a tough lesson that bears repeating. It's especially disheartening when our ambulances respond to an emergency that we know was preventable. It happened a month ago. Police say kids were playing near this railroad crossing at the bottom of the hill on St. James Street near Gilpin Court. It was a split second mistake that cost seven year old Mason his leg, but thankfully not his life. Think about seven years old and being with your buddy that's seven years old. That's a lot to have to live with for the rest of your life. Less than 50% of parents, 47%, speak to their kids about railroad safety. And even worse, 50% of parents take reckless actions around railroads. Now emergency workers are rallying around that incident. Tuesday, they put their boots to the ground for Rail Safety Week. Telling people don't play on the tracks. Going door to door. I want to make sure everybody be safe, okay? connecting the community with resources okay. and especially educating children so that this doesn't happen again. A lot of the time we look at the incident, but we don't look at the repercussion of how it impacted the community. How you doing? RPD also got a chance to check up on Mason. With a smile on his face and his new wheelchair, he isn't missing a beat. He's ready. The visible show of support Here you go, baby. means everything for his mother. It's keeping me stronger as a person, and I have six kids, so it's just making me a better person, and I'm just humble. They know that he's alive. He made it through the train. A freight train traveling 55 miles an hour can take more than a mile to stop. That's the length of 18 football fields. Law enforcement says the best way to stay safe is to avoid walking near railroad crossings and keep earbuds out of your ears so that you can hear trains as they're oncoming. For now, on your side in Richmond, AJ Nwoko, NBC 12. Thanks, AJ. Turning.